Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kill 10 Rats. Welcome back to the Stacklands, where we are in the wilderness trying to level up and find some deserters, some uh, former arbiters from Lumentark. And I have just been forced to re kill the skin changer, stealer, something that we already killed last time. But something went a little wrong with that particular save game. And so I resorted to the previous one and I had to re-kill him. So just in case you're wondering why he's suddenly lying a few squares back and to the left, that's why. Other than that, we are further exploring the scenery here and... Oh dear. There is another one. I see. Um, and we are hopefully going to survive this encounter. Um, I'm going to try to resort to a bit more proactive healing uh, whenever we're getting damaged because I feel like this can go south really, really quickly. And I'd rather not just continuously die which uh, to be fair like last time I, I cut out a few deaths if you've seen the last video it was like maybe two or three and most of these just had to do with me sort of being a bit of a putz when it comes to the control of this game but uh, I'm, I'm learning slowly but I am and yeah hopefully we'll be able to make some progress I I thank you yet again very much for all of your comments and messages and I'm really like glad that this game is you know providing some entertainment value to you guys and I'm also really happy for all the um, uh, advice I'm getting which you know basically states that right now I'm, I'm pretty much in the right area doing pretty much the right thing like uh, and the intention definitely is to not only oh, one of the dangerous foxes. Um, the intention definitely is to not only stay in this wilderness uh, until we found the deserters, but also just continue exploring not only this part of the wilderness, but just all the surrounding um, the surrounding territory around Lumentark until we've leveled up a bit more and actually can, like I said before, like afford a little bit of of armor. Nico, you really shouldn't be there. I have to maybe get him a ranged weapon at some point just so he stays back. Because that does seem to work for Wilhelm here at least. Maybe it'll work for Nico as well. Maybe we'll find some divine weapon for him. Actually, one thing I was wondering about because I... I heard about that. Yeah, I think... You have to sort of declare the active skills for your um, for your party. Like they can have three at a time, and you sort of have to put them into this um, menu here. Which for these two seems to already have been happened, but I think um, these have so far neglected to use their skills. And I'm curious. I haven't really ever checked. Who else has spells? And I think it's... You have spells. Do you? Which spells do you have? Hmm, you don't have any, but you could potentially get some, is how I'm reading this. <coughs> Excuse me. That is not necessarily a bad thing. And this is... Oh, this... Ah, yes, 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 yes about this too like you can actually examine aspects of the environment with these um, aptitudes which I probably should 
eventually start doing once something catches our interest again in, in the environment because it's very likely that this is a way to avoid missing stuff. I should have probably already done this at the temple and uh, provided there is reason to I might actually just pop back there at some stage and do that just to examine the surroundings. Okay. Hey. As you approach a small rocky enclave, you notice smoke, smell roasting duck, and make out the campfire of four adventurers. One wearing a rich purple hat and another garbed in exotic wizarding robes. Assuming that anyone traveling with so little stealth is very confident in their ability to fight off a threat, you lower your weapons and... Well, we'll always go with Nico stepping forward. What have we here? An intruder in our camp? A dullard who lost his way? Hmm. I'm not sure if you bed rules gives you the right to call a passerby intruders. Yeah. God's teeth. That slab of ox meat in our stew has more brains than you. Um. Well, we have saved, so... I won't stand for this. And... I'll mean that quite literally because I will run from this uh, and see if we can't catch one of these gentlemen or ladies and gentlemen sort of out of line of sight all right let's go to this corner here and engage Let's see how we're gonna do against these guys. I I fear the worst. Okay, so far we should switch to healing her. One is down. Come on, heal. Oh god. We are a bit of a pickle here. Run, 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 run. Okay, now Nico, move it and you go back to fighting. Vatslav is mortally wounded and quite decidedly dead. Oh, Nico is getting his ass kicked. Right, let's do that again. Okay, Nico, don't do that. You should heal yourself. Okay, how are we doing here? Doing okay. Some more. Hello. Okay, foul creep. All right, that went surprisingly well for a bunch of loud mouths there. Maybe we have some gear that we can take off their uh, corpses. Oh, very nice. We have what a thieving imp. How am I to interpret that, then? Hmm. A crossbow. A torch. Anything more? Not a torch. A metal brooch. Emeralds. Hmm. It seems that this has a bit of a radius to it, so we need to be a bit careful with uh, not missing anything. Maybe they also have some more stuff in their encampment. Let's quickly check what we found here. We have padded leather armor mail. This superb leather jerkin is lined with iron mail over thick tweed attached leather breastplate. Okay, we have found you something nice. And what's this? Uh, AC plus two, AS plus point four. How does it compare? Probably much better. Yes, indeed. Glorious. A crossbow and a metal brooch. Does it do anything? Not that I can see. Which doesn't mean we shouldn't be wearing it. Right. Very nice. We also have a very extensive collection of kitchen knives at this point, but uh, oh well. You 
I wonder, does anyone else... Are you using a shield at all? You are. You're using the same round shield, aren't you? Yes, you are. Wait, what? Did I give that to... Oh, okay. You already had a metal brooch? Okay, interesting. Well, that's... That was a fruitful bit of admittedly provoked slaughter. Uh, I mean, these guys weren't exactly uh, keen on de-escalating, especially since they were calling us all sorts of names. So... They basically got what they had coming to them. What are we seeing? Hmm? Ooh, there is another one, is there? Well, well. Oh, I should probably do this the other way around first. Move on, then go on the attack and... What are you doing there, dude? You are a wizard, are oh, ya? Yeah. Oh wow. What just happened? Everyone fell to the ground, I, I guess? Wow. Nico, could you not... Could you not try to add... Uh, uh, could you not... Hmm. Is he mind control or something? Because he's doing weird, weird stuff. Heal yourself. Wow, this is all sorts of annoying. Near death. So so we are uh, whittling away at him. Wow. That was mildly irritating. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> you know, we've won. Um, that's actually something I'm almost glad they didn't put in the game, those um, you know, vocalizations that you had in, for instance, Barter's Gate, because after, I guess, the 500th time, something like, I'll do your toil, or uh, stop touching me, is, is eventually somewhat irritating. On the other hand, we do miss out on Go for the Eyes and... Uh, other nice little gems, but hey, you know. This is the one game where I'm pretty confident that uh, the lack of voice acting isn't entirely hurting it. You know, that's just... Well, one interesting thing, though, like, uh, one thing that came up um, when checking up on the game, reading up on the game a bit, and also in, in one of the comments was that, uh, you know, why is Darklands getting brought up in the context of, of this game? Because it doesn't really have all that many callbacks to Darklands. It has many, many callbacks to what I can what I can identify to, to Baldur's Gate, but um, I wouldn't necessarily have made the connection to Darklands. Now, one legitimate um, bit of... Like, one, one legitimate talking point that I find that always comes up is the graphic style, which, yes, okay, fair enough. The graphic style is definitely inspired and reminiscent of good old Darklands. I, I completely agree. The rest of the game, I don't know. I'm The setting, of course, is sort of Eastern Europe inspired. And that may... You know, give a, a hint of, of Darklands as well. So, yeah, that's that's something that I could see uh, also as a, like a comparison to make. But in total, I, I don't know. I'm more reminded of Baldur's Gate and, and, and such. Um... If, if I were to, to name a game that uh, compares to, to Darklands setting-wise and, 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 you know, with, with those respects, 
I would name Legend of Eisenwald, which comes out in a month, I think, comes out of early access after having been in there for, I think, over a year and a half or almost two years and um, approaching something like five years total development time or something. But yeah, that, that should more uh, deservedly get that comparison made. Uh, like I said, the, the, I, I get the graphic style and everything that that seems to do it. But everything else and like the semi Eastern European ish setting. Yes. OK, that's that's something definitely. But uh, mainly this this really reminds me of the the Infinity Engine games. Well, you know, fair is fair. Every, everyone gets their, you know, associations from from a different place and values values these things differently so what what for me reminds me of Baldur's Gate might very well remind someone else of, of some entirely different game as you may have seen while I was talking I have been rearranging our armor a tiny bit and um, one thing I'm actually rather curious about is how many emeralds do we have at this stage and where can we tell is that a separate item or oh 116 that is a pretty nice haul already i am rather you know i'm rather surprised that this piled up so quickly considering we went into this wilderness with like zero <laughs> after hiring uh dakiana here and yeah by merely murdering and fleecing a mouthy adventuring party we have already quite uh, handily increased our moderate level of gear let's actually see that leaf blade is that something what do you have you have one of these iron scepters no i don't think we have any takers for that leaf blade well maybe you you know, for lack of for lack of a range weapon that we actually have ammunition for. How many? Um, oh god, okay, you're running low on these as well. We might actually have to remember to get some ammo for this um, alchemist here. Or for his, like, uh, whatever he's throwing, like this, these concoctions that... Uh, he chucks into people's faces. Um, okay, so we have been up here. Oh, okay, we haven't at all been in the other direction, so let's do that instead. Rather like uh, work my way around the edge of the map. But that was a, a pretty surprisingly smooth encounter there. And I do feel that um, part of the reason for that is the two, um... Hey, a cave. Adventuring 101. Let's go into the cave. It'll be dark, there'll be rats. Um, yeah, what I'm thinking is that our two uh, Corum located companions are probably increasing our overall oomph by quite a bit and that we'd probably be struggling a lot more if we had just stuck to the pre-made companions of course if you go with a a set of avatars at the start like if you create your own party then you probably have a slightly easier time at the start but from what i understand they they don't scale as well as time goes on in the game so as you level up the other companions tend to somewhat outclass your, your pre-mates. Uh, Wilhelm cannot use critical flight without missiles. Um, does that mean I gave him a skill that he cannot actually use because this doesn't count as a missile weapon? Or how am I supposed to interpret this? Weapon type elixir. And this is probably then range hmm okay this probably doesn't count as a missile weapon then hmm let me just quickly check what what did i gave him 
And what did I give him? We gave him... Yeah, two levels of this. But did he already have one level in that? And any missile weapons makes every missile weapon... Makes every missile you fire a deadly countermeasure. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how to interpret this because I would have classed these... Um, what the hell are you? Oh god. Let's hug the corner and go on the attack. Uh, okay. How are we doing? We're doing fine. Um, I would have just assumed that these elixirs are missiles as well, given going by their description, since he seems to throw them around. Nico sometimes seems a bit unwilling to engage in uh, in ranged combat, <laughs> but I don't like him in the front lines. Hmm. Oh well, we'll figure it out and it's probably not the end of the world to, you know, have invested those points. I'm also, of course, always the option um, to just get uh, rid of Wilhelm, provided some other um, some other NPC presents himself or herself. Well, we are going to town here. That's uh, that's quite interesting. These guys aren't incredibly tough so far. And they're not terrible experience either. How are we doing anyway? How are you doing? Oh, wow. We are pretty close to leveling up yet again. I guess that uh, adventuring party must have provided a fair bit of XP. What are you? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, what can we do? Maybe we can, if I interpret this correctly, maybe we can sort of mitigate the the effect of this a little. If I interpret the description of bomber correctly, then that seems unpleasant. Okay, did it just explode and nothing happened? I think so. Hmm. Curious. Had me a little worried there. Oh well. Are there more of these? Okay. Not entirely sure what these guys are doing except for blowing themselves up and then uh, sort of I don't know. It's like, haha, you can't kill me, I'll kill myself, or what's 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 this what's the strategy here? Um There are some more. Let's go get them. Up and at them. Do your thing, Nico. What the hell? Did you just teleport or...? <laughs> um, oh well. Shroomer fat. I don't actually check the description of that stuff. What does it say? A slab of fat from the walking variety of the family of arthropod creatures the settlers refer to as shroomers. While most of the innards of these creatures are filled with various nutrients and are considered to be quite healthy, their diet of mostly exotic fungi and corpses mm, makes much of the eaten organs like the liver, stomach and intestines very difficult to digest without proper cooking. Fortunately, they are surrounded by a very usable coat of this milky green fat, 
which is commonly used for grease or oil to light torches. It is edible and much less irritable to digestion, though if consumed plain it is a very dull meal. It's commonly seasoned and spread on hard breads or nut breads. It should recover some health if eaten. That's pretty nice. And that's a lot of really nice flavor text. Vinimus, that was the bloodless hunter that we encountered, who gave us the note. And I think the note is probably just yeah telling us where to find his camp in case we are encountering any any creatures of the bloodless variety. But hey, this is like this is really nice. It's like just happening on this random cave and then doing the adventuring type thing and heading on in. I don't get these bombers. They... Oh, they, they try to do damage but our armor is just blocking it apparently. Like this... This would probably be bad if we weren't this well equipped. Yeah, there's like a tiny bit of damage on on, um, on one of our guys. Well, that's good. I guess uh, fleecing that party of adventurers was uh, quite in our favor. Oh wow, now is the real test though. Let's get our ranged dudes a little back. Move it, Wilhelm. And... I don't know. Okay, Nico, can you cast your magic voodoo on this guy? You can't because it's already dead. Wilhelm leveled up, a lot of people level up. Hey! Hey! I like it. Okay, more shroomers. Hello, do not simply pass him by, that's just rude. But that's nothing new from Catalina, of course. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look. You didn't level up. You didn't level up. You leveled up. You level up quite a lot. Oh, okay, no. Never mind me, that's, uh, that's just stacks. Uh. Hmm. Shall we continue on our path? Or shall we focus on one more than the other? I think I'm going to go for a more balanced approach here. And just raise these uh, similarly. We have two more points. Is there any more spells we can um, get that maybe have some more utility? A feverish wreck, a debuff kind of thing, arcane attack. Wait, herbology, herbology. Create a murky molding sludge on the ground to trip up. Oh, that, 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 I, wa I want that. I want that. That was so annoying. That's probably really useful. Um, can we assign a quick spell to this? Mm, yes, okay. Sweet. And now we'll level up her. And we're gonna go with... Maybe we'll focus on strength for now. Get a little bit of more of that damage going. Um, Skill-wise... Wait, that's not what I wanted. Skill-wise, she has Shield Mastery and Bash. Is there anything we can go into in sort of a... Mm, rally? I think we already have one. Uh, no. Warcry. Agile fighting. Mm, taking a defensive stance, increasing your chance of evading blows completely. Yeah. Or... More blocking. 
I feel like more blocking is probably more productive, so let's let's give her you know, let's give her those again and see how we fare with that. And Wilhelm, we will not invest any more points in this. We will, however, invest more points in this. Okay. Nice. Everybody leveled up. Okay, where are we? What are we seeing here? This is, this seems to be the edge of the map. And there is an exit. Hmm. Okay, I feel it's a little early to take an exit here. Um, let's first just check up whether there is any other corners of this cave that we can reasonably explore. As we are spelunking here. I am enjoying this game beyond my expectations, I have to admit. Like, I I was sort of... Oh, we forgot his stats. I was sort of sure that this would be... This would be good. But I wasn't really sure, you know, how, how would I... How would I deal with my pampered self being used to Skyrim with an ENB and whatnot, you know, uh, how would I deal with an RPG that doesn't offer this? Quite well, of course, because that's really not the point. That's not to knock the, the more modern games and all. They, they deliver uh, uh, their own way of telling a story, but I am really happy with this game. Like, uh, this is a, a discovery I hope more people make, and I hope people you know, uh, find this game. It's such a shame, like I, I said this already in, in regards to Dex, which to me was also a game that just stood out to me by how different it was. And it just gets, like this this type of game is just in, in danger of getting lost in, in all that fairly uninspired flood of either survival horror or survival voxel based whatever uh, mostly early access stuff that's that's hitting steam and then just clogging up the the queues in the front page if, of course that's you know just me whining on a very high level because it's not like more games are a bad thing or more choice is a bad thing but a little bit of more curation would be nice and you know I, I just hope some someone with a lot of followers somewhere picks up on this game and just gives it its its moment in the spotlight so there's more uh, people playing this because it really I don't know it really should be played more of course that, that's just me assuming that it's not uh, selling like millions and millions of copies just by pure dint of the fact that I uh, I don't really see it in the in the top sellers or popping up anywhere. It, it, it hopefully is doing reasonably well for itself, but uh, I, I just wish it more success. I just wish it more attention, because uh, it's great. And here we are, slaughtering some more screamers. No, not the screams, shroomers. Okay, is this just, I figured we'd, we'd head into another um, outdoors area, sort of at the back entrance of the cave, but we just, we just made our way into another cave is all. So, I shall see where we are and not make any caveception or exhibit I heard you like cave jokes, because that would just be silly. Uh, one minor thing I would like, just because of finger memory and finger placement on the keyboard, I would like to be able to use WASD for the um, for the map scrolling, because it's just you know what uh, what 
What you're used to is just a force of habit, nothing major. What are you? A totem flanked with human skulls. Well, you seem to have the same interior decorator as most villains in video games then. Although who's to say that these guys are the villains? I mean, we are basically intruding in their in their cave digs and uh, murdering their families. So uh, I think it's more on us, really. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm trespassing and you're the bad guy. Um, but yeah, these uh, exploding guys are, are uh, seemingly not a problem. What's this? A small single person raft is teetered to the shore. Would you like to cross? Huh. Choose a companion to cross the lake. Not now. Nice. I'm curious what that's gonna... gonna do for us. Oh, we seem to have reached the... the bottom edge of the map again. Wait, what's happening here? Why is it not moving... Something's a bit fishy here. Oh, I, I, oh god, I think I read about this one. This is probably a bug that's supposed to be fixed by an update that hasn't reached the GOG version of the game yet. Something about the cave and not scrolling. Uh huh. Let's quickly see if reloading does anything for us. Not to be expected, though, to run into a couple of bugs. I mean, this game, from what I, from what I've read, is made by a two-man, or rather, a um, husband and wife team. And uh, yeah, I mean, all things considered, this is, you know, a level of adequate polish. And if there's a few bugs right at the start, they're getting fixed really quickly. So I'm not complaining. Yep, that seems to have done it because my camera was in no way budging anymore. Right. Back off. Back off. Who, who are you yelling at? Who, who are we yelling at? I'd like to know who, we, who, who we're yelling at. I don't know. Oh, we're yelling at a, a nymph. Okay. I have bad memories of you guys, so... I, I appreciate the yelling. An imp right in the middle of our party. Completely uninvited. Hmm. And another shroomer. Hack, hack away. Our good friend Wilhelm will fairly soon run out of stuff to throw, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not sure if that's significant enough a reason to head back into town. I don't really think so. More shroomers. Way more shroomers, wow. Oh wow, you are getting hammered. Can we heal you? Oh god, no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Kill the shroomer. Ah! Wow. Phew. That was a close one. I wonder if... Uh, if armor has some sort of negative effect on on our spellcasting capabilities, because otherwise I think it's time to get some better better armor on Nico here. Who are we seeing? Oh, we're seeing you? Okay. Alright. Lots and lots of Shroomer fat again. Let's see, do we have anything armor-wise that's better than this? Hmm... AC plus one, SR plus two, um, I'll need to actually look into what this means. AC plus two, that's already better, isn't it? 
But there was some, uh, yeah, there, there was some deductions there. Hmm. Yeah, this is a minus, but I don't know if the minus is any good. Hmm. Does the character sheet say anything? Spell resistance, spell potency. Oh, that's probably spell resistance then, the SR part, isn't it? Dodge chance, cast speed. Right, that's probably a an issue then. If we sort of overload him with heavy armor, his, his casting is just probably completely going to the toilet, I would assume. Oh well, I will be examining the statistics a little more off screen because I don't think that is the most, uh, you know, the most important thing to record. Me looking at numbers and going, what does this mean? Um, okay. Anything here? The game just auto passed for some reason. Oh, there is an enemy up there. Okay, and there is another. There is another en entrance slash exit. Die, 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 die. They can sort of teleport, apparently. It's an interesting sort of tactical consideration if you're up against a bunch of these guys. Especially if there's something like... Uh, Sort of positioning damage, like backstabs and whatnot, that could go pretty annoying in some situations. Alright, more of you. I love how it's just like charging right in the middle of everything and getting murderized. Hmm. We also seem to be getting a fairly huge haul of that fat. Maybe it's worth something. Hopefully we've left a merchant or two alive <laughs> in town. And there's an enemy down there. What are you? Another shroomer. Did you run away? Okay. I wonder, because they seem to be moving around, like, they're not stationary, they, they occasionally just wander into view, which I quite like, but it's also a tiny bit troubling. <laughs> Come on. Kill, kill, kill. Kill the mushroom man. Yeah. Right. Well, we seem to be doing quite well for ourselves, and we seem to be, yeah, gaining an, an adequate amount of experience in this cave. So this this definitely is a nice um, excursion to partake in. So far, the only person having come close to to dying is Nico, and that's. Mainly because he's walking around here in the leather dress that he stole off corpse. Somehow not the most appealing scenario, if I put it that way. What did we just see? Oh, another imp. Well, well Nico, could you heal her up? Hello, Nico, could you... Oh, he's he's casting, is he? Yeah, he is. Okay. Okay. An edible heart, yet again. The diet of the people in this uh, in this place is definitely an acquired taste. All right, we're back at the boat, and we're back with another imp on our tails. That's uh, always a nasty surprise. But yeah, our, our armor seems to be doing really well for us. Like, it's... 
it's definitely a deciding factor apparently in this game as as much as has already been confirmed by you guys in the comments in some in some uh, circumstances is that armor really makes a difference and um yeah I'm, I'm inclined to agree like there is a fairly noticeable uh lack of getting too shotted by enemies and especially the imps that uh just sort of tore some people here to shreds are uh, are no longer that dramatic is this actually we came in here right yeah we came in here so this is a new um exit slash entrance let's see what lies beyond uh i just noticed that i have run on and about as long as I want to make these episodes because uh, between rendering and uploading and everything this is gonna take a while so I will take a break here I will get this a rendering and I will record some more so I can make this you know hopefully a daily thing I right, thank you very much for watching and for accompanying me into the the cave exploration I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you next time bye for now